I don't think the results of this experiment are going to be a surprise to anybody, but uh, here we go. Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor, and inside this box is a pair of shoes from Polyfab. Now, I have not opened this box. I have not seen these shoes. I wanted to catch my first reaction to them live on camera. So, what do you say we crack into these and see how these shoes look? But before I do that, I want to remind you about my Discord. It's a great community of people who are doing great things with 3D printing and helping other people do great things as well. If you're new to 3D printing or just want something new to do with 3D printing, I hope to see you there. All right, let's take a look at these shoes and see how a 3D printed pair of shoes looks. Okay, what a box. This box is, holy smokes. I gotta say, they nailed the presentation, but it's bigger than my table can handle. So here we go. Aha! Shoe right. Okay. So looking at this shoe, it, it looks and it feels like rubbery plastic. Like, uh, I don't know if it's TPU specifically, but it, it's soft. It doesn't feel like uh, it doesn't feel like anything other than just a rubbery plastic. But it's also airy, like you can see right, you can see light through this thing the whole way. And that's going to be a very interesting thing to try out. But look at that shoe. Let's get the other one out and see how it looks. Now, one thing that impresses me about these shoes, here we go, I got the left side, is that most shoes are sewn by hand, which means that people have to be involved in the making of them. These shoes, theoretically, are mostly machine made. Sure, there's a designer behind it, and sure, there's people pulling the prints out of whatever 3D printing process that they use. And I'm curious about the 3D printing process because I don't see any layer lines. I can, could not tell you how this was oriented. So I'm guessing that they're using a finer process than FDM. It's also interesting to me that this has been designed kind of double lined. And I wonder if that's for durability or just making it feel better. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do though. I am going to take these shoes and I am going to put them on. Now, I need to uh, pull my orthopedics out because I'm nearly getting to 50. So we'll see and uh, put it in there. No problem, fits just fine. Let's put that on. And I am going to wear these. In fact, I'm going to wear these all day today and tomorrow and uh, maybe even take a hike with them and see how they hold up just in everyday wear. Now, looking at these, you might think, well, they're not, they're not fit for everyday wear. They look like they would wear out and maybe that's the case or maybe they are more durable than a normal pair of shoes. I will tell you though, with just this on my feet, my feet feel cooler already. It just feels nice and airy and cool. I kind of like it. Now, even if they don't end up being like durable enough to take a hike with or something like that, we'll see. I, I am going to abuse the heck out of these, but if they aren't suited for that, they would still be great like slippers. Good for, you know, just slipping on and heading out to the shed and doing some work out here. But wow, these do feel pretty good. They're snug. They go on well and I like them. So let's see how these wear as I wear them. I have been dreading this particular experiment. As you can see, I'm at the water feature at my local park, and uh, I'm going to test the waterproofness of these shoes. 
I don't think the results of this experiment are going to be a surprise to anybody, but uh, here we go. Here I am with wet socks for science. Yeah. All right, it has been about two weeks now and I've been wearing these shoes almost nonstop. I think there's only been about two or three days that I haven't worn these shoes. So they've been getting a lot of wear and I can say this so far. First of all, the soles are very soft, but not in a bad way. Wearing them across rough terrain, like taking a hike, is probably not recommended. It feels a lot like wearing a sneaker instead of wearing hiking shoes like you'd expect. However, at the beginning of this, I said that I couldn't wear it with my orthopedic, so I expected my plantar fasciitis to flare up and me to be in a lot of pain. And yet that hasn't been the case. Not because it hasn't flared up, it has, but these shoes are so soft and so cushy, especially in the heel, they soften those first couple of steps when it flares up until it goes away, and I found these actually much more comfortable to wear when I'm getting a flare-up of my plantar fasciitis, so odd side effect that actually makes me really like these shoes. And of course, I did the experiment where I walk through water with them and their loose, airy nature allowed the water to go right through and soak my socks. But what I found out afterwards was that my feet and these shoes dried off really quickly. The socks took a little while longer, but I took the socks off and wrung them out and hung them up and then went without socks in these shoes and my feet were dry in less than an hour, as well as the shoes. So overall, a lot of very interesting side effects of the way that these shoes were made that I wasn't expecting. Which raises the question, did Polyfab just make a really high class water shoe? I mean, on the one hand, yes, they are very good as water shoes. They get wet and they get dry very easily but they're also rugged enough for everyday wear and they feel good doing it. So, nah, I think they're better than just plain water shoes, but they do open up an interesting kind of middle ground of versatility. However, I have noticed that the soles of these shoes are starting to get worn, but not in the way that I expected. You'll notice that the shape of them is still very much the same, even to the point of the writing of the brand and the size on there still being completely readable. However, the paint layer that is on there, which I didn't realize that that's how these were made. They're made with apparently a clear plastic and then coated in the color afterwards. That paint is wearing off. And that paint appears to be also a rubbery, rubberized sort of plastic. However, it's not it's not flaking off at the sides, which is a good sign. It shows that it's been bonded well, but it also shows that as this wears down, it's not gonna get ratty or it's not going to get messy. It's just going to change color slightly where it gets worn out more. Now looking at these, I am seeing that there are some rocks and other things getting caught in the geometry of these, and I'm not so sure how or if those will ever be able to get out and if over time wearing them over rougher terrain or in mud or other situations will just cause these to be a composite of dirt and rubber. Mm. But I get the impression that overall that's not necessarily what these shoes were made for. I'm definitely running them through paces that they, they weren't designed for and yet they're holding up fairly well. There's also the fact that these shoes get noticed. I can't tell you how many times these past couple of weeks people have looked at my shoes and gone, whoa, hold on, Joe, are those 3D printed? Because, of course, people know that I do 3D printing. And I get to explain to them, yeah, well, they're 3D printed. I didn't 3D print them. They used a, an industrial process better than the ones that I could do. And these shoes are super comfortable. It always leads to a very interesting conversation. So... If you like interesting shoes, definitely good one for that. 
So in the end, what's my thoughts? Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm going to continue to wear my Polyfab shoes. I mean, I might not wear them every single day, but they are fantastic for just slipping on and running out and doing a thing. And they are also rugged enough that I could wear them every day if I wanted to. I think that they are working great in that regard. So I'm not done wearing these shoes after this. And I think you should maybe check them out as well. They're super cool. But that's it for this video. I want to thank you very much for watching. And I want to remind you that you are a child of a loving Heavenly Father. He cares about you and so do I. So please take care of yourself. But if you can, find somebody else to take care of as well. Because we all need each other. I'll see you next time.